Today we're in the Los Chivo sections of Vieques Island and we're visiting a property called La Terrazas. This is the entrance coming off the main road right here. Comes up from La Pra to Los Chivo. As you can see, we've got some of our friendly neighborhood chickens and horses visiting. This is the entrance to the property. Nice driveway leading up to uh, the main house. Uh, out here is some um, little cabinet areas where uh, one of them actually holds a generator, one's for the garbage, one's just general maintenance. It's nice to have those outside. This is the entrance, gravel driveway. There is a gate, an electric gate that closes, so if you want to close it off at night or while you're not here, park your car, have a little security. A couple of uh, garages here. Uh, this is a great place to store your kayaks, your beach wear, or your beach gear. Um, also, I know uh, they've parked cars in here during, <coughs> parked cars, excuse me, during hurricanes. So another one over here as well. And then here's the, uh, what nice feature right off the bat is the uh, welcoming fountain. After the welcoming fountain, we come to the main gate here. You can see the tile work. The owners here wanted this property to basically be Morocco meets the Caribbean. Here's the main house, first floor, second floor, two separate units, but it's all part of the same compound. And uh, let's start upstairs. You can see the blue tile. Definitely makes you feel like you're part of Morocco here, very bright blue. The top of the stairs, there is a uh, one of the terrazas. Remember, this is Casa Las Terrazas. And so from here, you've got a little dining area. You can sit out here, have your morning coffee or late afternoon drinks. And there's your view of Isabel Segunda, all the way out to Culebra, the ocean. <laughs> and over there's uh, mainland Puerto Rico. The sun is going down, just to give you a sense of what the light is here. There is an entrance here, but we'll go through the entrance down here that leads into what is basically the living room. So very dramatic. I'll show you in a second as we get further upstairs. The, uh, the metal staircase there, very dramatic. Coming here to the living room. Nice sitting area, and what you'll notice when you come into the space that you actually have very high ceilings. Living room mostly because uh, over here behind this cabinet, is hidden the TV. So it's nice to have that out of the way if you're not using it. Living room space, again, you can see the high ceilings. Nice sitting space. Get across ventilation from east to west. You can hear the coquis outside. They're very happy. We've had some rain here lately. And this leads back to the kitchen. Bar, the bar stools. This is a uh, concrete countertop. The cabinetry here is uh, of great quality. There's your dishwasher, your gas stove, cabinets. You can see it's very good. Uh, they're quiet clothes, so you don't want to wake anybody up. Nice and quiet. Space for refrigerator. This one has the built-in ice cube and water dispenser. So off the kitchen is an actual bedroom, which gives a nice, great more, all right, this is afternoon light comes in that we're facing west here. You can see a nice king size bed here. You can see the fan. There is an air conditioner here. All the bedrooms in this property have air conditioners for those that feel they need it. If not, you can certainly sleep with a fan on. So that's bedroom number one of this upstairs unit. Come back out into the living room, come back to the stairs. And note these stairs, they are kind of a, a, a metal. Love the geometric features of the stairs, very industrial. Feels like a little bit New York City loft. And at the same time, it meets more traditional tile work. So this door here led out to that terrassa we saw when we came up the main stairs. This I'll show you in a second. Here's kind of a little library 
bookshelves and whatnot. And then this leads out to another terrace, which is on the east side, uh, which will get more morning sun. So coming here to the front of the house, up here on the top floor, this here is basically your master bedroom. And you can see why. Big bed, big space, air conditioner. And this has the views out to the ocean. You can see Calabra over there. Mainland Puerto Rico on that side. And notice also, I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear the fountain, the entrance fountain, which kind of wafts as white noise throughout the property, which is very nice. There you go once again. Little sitting area, bedroom. You can close the blinds if you want darkness in the morning. We've got a nice sitting area for reading. If we want to escape, this property has been used uh, mostly as a rental. There is a family that owns it and enjoys it themselves, but it's mostly rented out. What's nice is that there are basically three units here. This is uh, this top floor here has one unit. As you saw, we have a kitchen, bathroom, and the uh, two bedrooms we've seen so far. And there are some other units uh, on the same compound. So you can rent the, all of this as a family, rent it out for families, and everybody has their own little space. And yet at the same time, you don't feel like you're all on top of each other. Up here is kind of a little loft area. Uh, I feel like this is like perfect place for an afternoon nap. Great place to come read a book, just have a little daytime escape. And as you can see, we look down over, it's kind of a loft area. We look down over the kitchen and the living room area. And then another little neat little architectural gem here is this little room back here. Talk about loft. This is a nice little, kind of a kid's little playroom. Uh, maybe if you have kids and maybe this is where they all sleep and spend their nights giggling away with each other up here. You've got cousins, brothers and sisters. It's a great little space for them to come in and feel like they've got their own, their own little space. So that's the unit upstairs. Uh, let's go, let's go back downstairs. So I'll see you down there. So here we are on the first floor. This is the unit in the main building that's down below on the first floor. A little patio space here. There is a fountain. It doesn't have water in it right now, but if you need more uh, white noise or like to have more water around, you can certainly fill that up and have it bubbling away. So coming into the main house here, we have the living room. We have kind of a dining room kitchen area, or actually a dining room area here, living room there. And then here is the kitchen. This has uh, a lot of the same finishes that we saw in the upstairs kitchen. You know, some of the lighting, the countertops, the cabinetry has the same feel. Uh, this property was redone by EDK contractors. So uh, in that sense, you've got a lot of the same finishes, a lot of the same feel throughout the property, which is a great, uh, it, it's a great, it's a great sense of um, not being so hodgepodge. A lot of properties that are done kind of room by room, door by door. This actually has some great continuity. So you've got a dishwasher, again, gas range. These I believe are also the quiet. It seems like the same ones. The same quiet close. This one doesn't want to close. How's that one? Nope. All right, these guys aren't as quiet as upstairs. Good try. But I thought it was. Uh, room for your refrigerator, pantry closet, dining area, living room area. And then this leads out to a little dining area outside. Of course, if you're in the tropics, you want to spend your time dining outside as much as you can or sitting outside, drinking, enjoying the tropical climate. And we'll see that a little bit more clearly as I walk outside in a minute. So from the living room, we go uh, down a hallway. It's a nice little wet bar here, a little refrigerator, drinks, nice bathroom. It's gonna have a lot of the same finishes we saw in the bathroom upstairs, the double sink. Couples all love double sinks. Nice tile work in the shower, both on the walls and the floor. So great size. And this unit down here has two bedrooms. 
This one's set up with doubles right now. You can see some windows that face the east, get some morning light. There's the air conditioner. There's your closet. And this leads back to a laundry room. So we have washer and dryer. There's your hot water heater. And like all property rentals, this is uh, what is considered the owner's closet. So if they have items they use every year or um, perhaps food or beverages that they'd uh, like to save for themselves, that's kind of a place to store it away. It's also a place for property managers to store their cleaning supplies, stuff like that. So this is the inside of the uh, lower unit, two bedroom, uh, one bath kitchen. We come back out to the fountain and we walk around to the outside of the property. Uh, this here should be noted, this is actually your view to the ocean. It's uh, gonna be cut back soon. It's kind of a seasonal uh, plan to cut back. Uh, we'll have an ocean view once it's cut. This is the area I showed you from inside. Great little sitting area, glass table. There's a bench. So you can imagine people, I mean, a good number of people sitting out here and enjoying time together. It's a great little sitting area with a great breeze coming through. And then off of this, the patio here, this is a great little surprise. This is great work by Aaron, by EDK. Uh, there's garden here. And then lo and behold, look at this. How beautiful is this? Boom. Look at the pool. Once again, the Moroccan colors. This is a great, great relaxing pool. It's very quiet here. A little sitting area over here for those that don't want to get too much sun. Those that have on their suntan lotion and want to fry away. Put your chair right here in the water. And then just stare off into the sunset. That's the view out towards the ocean again. The landscaping needs to be cut back a little bit. It's that time of the year. This has to be one of the most relaxing pools in Biecas by far. The water's crystal clear. Makes me want to jump in right now. It's absolutely beautiful. Great work. It's a great addition to the house. This year you can even see Buddha. A lot of houses here have that. A lot of people come to Vieques are looking for, for peace. They want to escape the big city. They need a place to come and relax. If it's not a pool, then it's Buddha. Or staring at the ocean or staring at the greenery. Whatever it takes, they come here and find peace. A little peace in their paradise. Some great landscaping around here. There's another one. I don't know if that's not a Buddha though, is it? I'm confusing my Thai with my Indian, with my Buddha, with my Hindu. Sorry about that. So from here, because there are two levels and two units in this main building, uh, we came in from that side. You can come in through those doors or come around from the side. If you're up on the second floor, you actually have direct access right up to your terrassa and the living room. So everyone has access to the pool. Again, you can come here with the family, come here with friends. Everyone has their space. And yet at the same time, everyone can enjoy time here together without being on top of one another, which is awfully nice. All right, so now we're back at the entrance. And uh, let me show you uh, one last feature of the property. So we're back here at the entrance. The gate is uh, inside there as well as the fountain. Uh, what we have here actually, it's another, uh, this is kind of the casita of the property. Uh, a lot of options with this. If you're going to uh, own this property and rent out the other units, this might be a place to live. If you are going to own this and rent out the other units, perhaps this is where your property manager lives. Or if you're just renting out the whole property, uh, this just becomes another available unit. This is basically a casita, square structure, Caribbean style, uh, what's called Quattro Aguas, four roofs, uh, built in the one up top. And here you have your efficiency kitchen, enough space for your sink, stove, oven, and fridge. 
enough space for your plates. You've got yourself a little sitting area. A little bed. Bedroom with enough closets. And then of course, the bathroom. Bathroom with an ocean view. There's your sink, shower, toilet. <coughs> so very basic, uh, but ideal. Sometimes, this is sometimes all people need if they come to live here in the Caribbean. Come live a simple life. This is it right here. There is air conditioning, there's a couple fans, a couple of French doors. Uh, out here on the side is a little table area. Give you perspective, there's the second floor unit that we're in, and down below is the first floor unit. And over here is the welcoming fountain. And for anyone here that wants their privacy, a little nook, not exactly cleaned up right now, but there is a deck space in the back here that comes off the bedroom. The quiet little corner. There is no direct access to the pool from here. Imagine you might be able to build one in around the back of the house. Uh, what's nice about this property is about an acre, acre and a half that goes up behind the property. It is a bit sloped. But if you want to build more casitas, uh, if you want to put a couple cisterns up there and use them for gravitational water, it would be ideal. It's a great size lot. Some privacy in the back, nice views out front. And this is the, uh, the casita. There's the fountain. And there's the entrance that we came in. And from here as well, a little landscaping, a little annual trimming. From here right now, I can see uh, Isabel Segunda. I can see Tamarindo Hill, that's all on Vieques. And off in the distance, I can see Culebra, as well as the Caribbean Ocean. So lots, uh, lots to offer in this, uh, in this property. Three units all in one, great rental history. And it's yours by contacting Paradiso Realty at www.parisorealtypr.com. We'd love to help you out if you want to come and take a visit.